Welcome back to another episode of Me and My Bug. Today, we're gonna get this thing outfitted to cook. It's my brother! My brethren! Let's look, Bug. I think mine's cooler. Did you make that? No, I bought it like this. Really? Yeah, you like it? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, the bug's not nearly as loaded up as my truck is. Um, I don't have a reliable cooking source. I don't have a bunch of spices in there. So I'm going to just buy what I need today. I also don't have a refrigerator in there, so I can't keep stuff cool for more than a couple hours. But we're not going to let that stop us today. All right, got all the ingredients loaded in here, and I didn't even have any help. Well, I had a little bit of help. The sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp. So one of the biggest questions I get asked on this channel is how like, do I cope with being on the road and being by myself all the time? To be honest, it is a big mental health game, and companies like BetterHelp are helping individuals get in contact with therapists and counselors wherever they're at in the world. It's not a crisis line, it's not self-help, it's just simply getting professional counseling available anywhere online. BetterHelp's counselor network gives people access to licensed therapists that might not be available in their area. Wherever you're at in the world, whatever time, you can log in and send your counselor a message. One of the worst parts about going to therapy is like having to sit in a waiting room and like worry about people seeing you going there. Um, with BetterHelp, you'll actually just be able to go onto your phone, either send a message and you can plan weekly video calls. It's pretty awesome. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, so if you need to change counselor at any time, if need be, you can do so. Another great thing about online therapy is it's also just more affordable uh, than your traditional therapies that are more brick and mortar. BetterHelp wants each and every one of you to live happier today. Uh, they've given me a URL here, so betterhelp.com slash mav, which will get you 10% off your first month. Mental health is something that I take seriously and something that is been up and down for a lot of people this year. So I at least hope this reaches one person that needs it. Thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Now let's uh, get cooking on some chicken. All right, so if you guys remember uh, from the first night camping in this thing, it wasn't the easiest to pop up by myself and that's because I didn't have these springs put in. Um, I got one put in on this side, but before we get to the KFC parking lot, uh, so I can at least be faster at my job, I think it would be wise of me to install these springs. So I'm gonna set up the pop top quick and uh, try to install these things as best as I can. Now, on to the next side. Time to go to KFC, finally. I guess I'm a little bit late to the game here because KFC has ran out of Nashville hot chicken, so we're gonna remake the spicy sandwich. Thanks, this hobby on KFC. Could I do um, one spicy chicken sandwich? Could I also do a, uh, a sandwich, but could I get it without the chicken patty on it? Could I get it without the sauce too? Yeah, so you just want the bun and pickles? Yeah, sure. Thank you. You ever seen that dude on TikTok like ordering the the meatless sandwiches? I guess I'm gonna be that guy tonight. <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much. Have a great night. You too. Chicky chicky. See what we're working with here. Got our bun, and we got our spicy chicky. Keep it in there. Felt pretty crispy for now, though. So. Huge. 
Now, it's time to get cooking, son. Okay, well, I've had Nashville hot chicken before. I've been to Nashville. Um, so I'm gonna make a Nashville hot chicken sandwich in the KFC parking lot, even though it's not on their menu anymore, apparently. I did research before I came here, I swear, and it was still out, but this is my first time cooking in the bug, so I had to buy a lot of new stuff. Without further ado. Okay, so first we're gonna make a little seasoning marinade for our chickies. Throw some salt in, about two tablespoons, MSG. About a tablespoon, just a dash of garlic powder. Now you're gonna take your chicken breast. Okay, dokey. You can let this sit for like a couple hours, let the salt soak in there. But I'm gonna be honest, I don't have time for that. I'm secretly making these for my mom for dinner tonight, so that's why I'm packaging these away. I guess we should make sure that this thing works, huh? I saw this little uh, folding camp stove and I was like, I need to have that because it'd be pretty nice, I think, for ice fishing season two. All right, works. As always, if you are lighting anything with a fire and a flame, make sure that you have ventilation. I have a lot of ventilation. We're gonna set our chicky to the side for a second. So in this one, I'm gonna make my dredge, which uh, is basically my flour mixture. So we're gonna add about two cups of flour. I'm gonna add some onion powder about a tablespoon. I'm gonna add some garlic powder. About a tablespoon. I'm gonna add some paprika. About another tablespoon. This gives it a little bit of color. A little dash of MSG. And some salt. There we go, that's a salty boy. Now in this one, we're gonna make our buttermilk mixture. First, we need some buttermilk. We want two eggs in this boy. Una egg. Dos equis. How about some pickle juice in there? I'm also gonna add a little bit of Louisiana hot sauce. Okay. I will say it's kind of nice being like enclosed off from everybody, but it's weird. I don't get to interact with people or get stared at quite as much. I'm sure this is getting stared at enough outside. Using veggie oil. I guess chicken and veggie oil is supposed to be the, the deal. And then in this bowl, we gotta get our Nashville house house ready. We're gonna do a big old chungus of cayenne. Do some smoked paprika, some garlic powder, some salt, some fresh ground pepper. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Now, this is a very, very important step here. This is how you get nice coating of crunchy chicken with KFC's chicken tendies and chicken sandwiches. Okay. Light. That's what you want. I'm gonna do that a little bit more. While our oil's heating up, I think it should be almost ready. Test it out. Yeah, she's ready to go. Take our chicken, go into the flour, the dredge. Now we're gonna take this, go into our wash, let it drip. 
beckon. I'm gonna make sure there's no wet spots on this chicken before we throw it in there. Okay, we have one chicky. Don't forget to add brown sugar, because I almost did. All right, so this is also important. Oh, that's hot. You need to use hot oil. You pour it into your oil mixture. Ooh -wee. Now we dunk our chicky in the oil. Oh my. KFC. Double pickles. Well, there we go. We got mine right here and the KFC one right here. I'm sad that I didn't have any uh, Nashville hot to compare it to, but ooh, for my first time making Nashville hot chicken, that looks pretty good. You can see it's got a nice crust on it. It's still crispy. Oh boy. Awesome. Thanks, ma'am. Mine's smoky, spicy. Mmm. Oily. You can taste that brown sugar in there, a little sweet. Oh! Here's the KFC one. See the spicy sauce? Kind of the same color. A little more mayonnaise -y though. It's not really Nashville. Roll the body bag. I'll take mine. We put that thing in the dirt. It's so plain. There's no flavor. Chicken's dry. This is the goat right here. So tasty. Fun first night cooking in the bug. I'm going to tear everything down and go make mama some Nashville hot chicken. If you guys try it out, uh, tag me on Instagram at Maverick Joe's. Until next time, as always, you already know the drill, just keep on trucking.